welcome back to my channel today I have another awesome video today I'm very excited because today I'm going to be testing out some of the products from the Morphe 2 line and they are very popular right now because Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio are the faces of the new collection and I went to Ulta today and in like the foundation they didn't have any shades that were even close to my shade so I couldn't get that and I couldn't get a lot of the stuff but I tried to get as much as I could so I've never actually had Morphe brushes but they had the Morphe 2 brushes and I'm really excited to test them out because I've never had Morphe brushes and I've always really wanted some I this is just I just got a clear nail polish this mine not part of the video but i just needed one and then i got this is the gloss pop face and eye gloss so yeah i'm gonna open it up so they were out of the lip glosses and the you know blushes so here is the packaging Here's the main side, you know, Morphe 2. And I don't really like, I love, I hate Dewey. I don't like Dewey. I love matte. So I don't think I'm going to really like it, but I just decided I'll pick it up. Then I got the Jelly Eye Shimmer in the shade Woe. And I like it because, like, it opens like that, which is really cool. <laughs> and here's the packaging. And here's the color. They had this color and a purpley color. Wow. That just feels like oil. That is a That literally feels like oil. Okay, let me try to put it on. And like I was rubbing it in and it was making that really weird thing and it's like clumpy so I saw some reviews on this product well on all the products and there's a lot of bad reviews like most people didn't like this people didn't really like this but like Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio are not really they didn't make the products they're just the faces for it but they obviously still knew what the products were because they were advertising it. And like this isn't that pretty. I don't really like it. Maybe I should add some of the gloss. I'm testing out the stuff right now if you can tell. So here's what it looks like. It's a really like thin type of gloss. I kind of like really like it. So I'm going, I think that's a little bit too much, to just like try and place it on the eye. Oh wow, it makes it look a lot more shimmery and just like an eye gloss. Because it says that it's an eye gloss, but I don't really think it looks like an eye gloss. Okay, I don't love that. I'm going to put it on the lips. I think I may just use this as a lip gloss because, like, it's really nice. This feels like a lip oil. So, that is that. And this, I kind of like it. Here's it on the eyes. I kind of like this. And I do like this. A lot of people don't like this, but I like it, you know. I never do eye glosses. I've never actually had an eye gloss and I'm really excited to have one. So I'm going to now try and test out the brushes. So I really love this little case and it's going to be really nice to keep my brushes in. So I got comes with this brush right here which is a complexion brush um when I go like that 
but like low-key hurts my face okay so this brush right here is a complexion brush this brush is a highlighting brush if that makes sense yeah that would be a highlighting brush here is the next brush so i feel like this is what they wanted you to use instead of your finger to do the eye so i'm just going to use this brush and go like that and swatch it with the brush i feel like so that's the swatch with the finger and that's with the brush i feel like the, you know some products just do you see what it's doing in the pot like some products swatch and do better on the finger this product i feel does better on this brush that's really pretty i feel like this is something my mom would like it's just a really nice like shimmer to pop on your eye when you're not wanting to like do that much makeup but you want a bit of shine you know like i feel like a lot of people have those days especially with beginner makeup artists they want a bit of shine which i understand i always love like this brush and the next brush this is called a ultimate packing brush which i agree with it's an ultimate packing brush and then the last brush looks like this by the way just this basic white packaging this i feel like is a dry powder brush but it this is called a blush brush so i packed up all my makeup because i'm moving so i'm going to get out some highlighters some blush and i don't i think this is to apply foundation so i'm just gonna get out some highlighter and some blush and i'm gonna try to apply it with these brushes the only brush that i won't be using is this one right here i feel like that could also be um a blush brush but i don't really know it all depends on how you like your stuff so yeah okay, i'm gonna start with this is my tart blush this is my everyday blush this is just like the miniature one so this is the blush brush i believe i feel like this is like a perfect little blush brush um oh my god that's really cute i have no makeup on right now so that like might be a bad thing because i'm i don't know but look it i love that application i love this brush this blush brush applies it super duper nice like look it just a little bit just adds a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks you know doesn't make it really like clown like so that was the blush brush and now i'm going to use the next brush this one this is the Morphe 2 it says this is just basic white packaging. It says Morphe 2 on it. So I'm gonna use this Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. This highlighter is blinding. Like it also kind of feels like a cream. Like brow. Okay, let's see if this brush will make it pop. Help the highlighter out whoa my guy that is super pretty and i feel like this is a really good brush for application and of course gotta do the nose with this gotta test out the nose this is really cute natural makeup and i don't even feel like you really need foundation like just the shimmer on the eyes some mascara some blush and some highlight like it's really cute so i honestly would recommend every single product i know that i said that i like this but i don't really see the point of it i mean i don't really see a difference to the eyes and it's not that glossy on the lips i'm gonna try and make it a highlighter because Dixie D'Amelio uses it as like a highlighter, I saw. So I'm going to 
go like that over top of my highlighter. That just kind of makes me look oily, which I don't want. So I'm gonna actually try this brush out. Just gonna kind of blend it out with this brush. Guess that helped it. So this is the finished makeup look. I feel like it's very natural, very cute. So I used some of the Morphe 2 products and then for more of the base, I used my own products, which is this Tarte brush and position formula and this you don't really need a tart blush like you can get any cool cheap blush and this is a really cheap highlighter so go out and buy you guys can should go out and buy all this stuff and also buy mascara and you could probably buy a cheaper blush and there you go you have this really cute natural look i feel like this would be great for school the eyes are like kind of dramatic for school but I honestly like every single product that I bought today. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Peace, bye, love you guys. Have an amazing day.